which were uh, hemangiomas, which uh, known as infantile hemangiomas or strawberry hemangiomas. Uh, this is more common than, than uh, uh, nevus flamus. Uh, it's affect about one to two percent of the newborn in general, but it's very common in Caucasian white skin people as 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 high as ten to twelve percent in the first uh, uh, year of life. It's more common in girls, and the risk factors for hemangioma is usually low birth weight, premature babies, advanced maternal age, treatment for infertility, preeclampsia or placenta previa. Um, usually. Uh, have three presentation either superficial which is usually affect just the top layer of the skin the epidermis it could be deep when you see very deep subcutaneous uh, smooth fluctuating uh, bluish um, lesion uh, which usually diagnosed by ultrasound or it could become combined where you have uh, superficial and deep uh, hemangiomas um, which hemangioma you need to worry about and um, again uh, location of these hemangiomas is very important. Um, uh, segmental um, hemangiomas can have a risk of ulceration. Uh, it can, if it's affecting the face, you need to think about face syndrome. If it's around the mouth or the nose or the ears, you need to take, think about uh, respiration, feeling problems and hearing problems. Uh, so always important to examine the mucous membrane if you have a hemangioma um, around the mouth or the nose. If it's around the eye, obviously it will have, uh, cause vision impairment. If it's around the lumbosacral area, it will uh, sometimes can be associated with spinal dysraphism, especially if it's a very large one. And um, the bigger the size, the more you need to request MRI scan for the lumbosacral area. If it's around the perineal area, uh, pain, infection, ulceration, and there is a well-known syndrome called pelvis syndrome. If there are multiple, and most of the textbook says, says that if there are more than five hemangiomas in the skin, you might, you might need to arrange an ultrasound to rule out liver involvement.